Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today's video, I want to work on uh, the leg again, but I actually want to show you something that I've kind of been noticing and I think it might help a lot of people. It's, it's, it seems to be working for me. Uh, so essentially with the leg, um, I've been studying the anatomy a bit more in depth with the leg and I'm going to draw it real basic at first, just kind of a forward facing uh, what I perceive Without, you know having reference in front of me but trying to do it from memory what I've been studying with the leg and something that I, I found that I think is helpful uh, that might help you with your leg drawings so essentially and you could you know start with a, a basic uh, series of shapes if you have to so you could do like the, the cylinders like this obviously to get started uh, the main things that I've been looking at lately are the way that the leg bows out right here comes back in bows out again right here comes back in and uh, don't get into the ankle too much but you know we'll just say there's an ankle and foot down here and then the, the way the muscle comes in right here uh, something else it does it actually dips out with a reverse curve and then comes back out and then down here so we'll say something like this the other thing that this part does is you see the in inside of the uh, knee or the bone right there comes up and that muscle comes in right about here, up through here. And then this, uh, this large one, I won't get into the muscle names because I'll probably slaughter them, but you know, you've got that larger muscle here, and this one out here that protrudes out, and it's higher. You know, so there's a relationship like this, obviously. And we've talked about a lot of this, but, but the part that I want to convey is this curvature up here on the leg. So, what I want to show you, and let's let's bring this muscle down through here. Actually, I think it's the bone because you'll see it, it kind of connect from the ankle to the knee right here. Um, so a few tricks to getting this right, I think. One is that the the same direction the knee is is usually going to line up to the front and where the hip is, and the toe is generally going to point where the knee is, or it is going to point where the knee is. They they direct uh, they go with the same direction. So there's that. There's a little bit of a uh, little pouch of skin uh, and then this muscle pretty much sits right against the the knee really close if not right on it um, and then the other thing that that I've been struggling with is I've been getting these legs that look let me draw it off to the side and show you what I'm talking about here I'm getting these legs lately it's weird I always have to revisit legs like they just forget how to draw them for some reason and I've been getting legs that look really straight like like everything's straight up and down like this you know versus a little more curve and bend like this one has so the thing that I want to try to point out is that it's almost better to start here with this muscle and then have it rotate back have this one rotate towards the hip and towards the outside of the leg a little bit and it can come back in because it kind of does that it kind of goes up and then back in a bit but to look at it like it's almost going that direction towards the outside of the leg and not straight up and down like this would be. So what's really easy to do, it's easy to remember that this large muscle on the front of the leg goes right here, but then it almost makes you, tricks you into just drawing it all straight up and down like the maybe the leg is the same on both sides and it's not. This this one's uh, a lot different shape. It tapers in and goes behind the leg right here from this angle like that. This one bows out pretty heavily and it's a longer uh, sweeping curve like this uh, there's a large muscle that comes in the front like this you don't have to draw that in full detail but you want to get some of that in there so like this and then um, what else what else uh, there's like usually a, a bit of the, the bone right there just like that it doesn't have to be overly defined but you can it just depends on what style you're after and yeah just mainly making sure to round it out and like I said, more like if I had to draw through it, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Almost like it goes like this. You know, kind of like this kind of curve. Uh, you know, and, and maybe not that dramatic, but just not straight up and down. Even if you were to think of it more like it just curved this way, is okay, but it, it still doesn't seem to work really well. It still, still ends up looking really flat. So let me, uh, let me try to soft erase this. And refine it a little bit more and see if I can illustrate it just a bit more. OK, 
okay so if I was to draw through this again you know now I'm refining and trying to get a little more uh, confidence in my line work I know you know pretty much where I want the uh, shapes to go now I just put in some thicker line weight I don't want the knee completely traced out like I got there you know um, and keep in mind too it's really good to put like lots of line breaks in when you're doing this part especially for comics it like just gives a lot more uh, style to it when you're doing this so again I want to think about this curve and I want it to taper around I want it to have some nice organic bends to it and uh, you know just not straight up and down so now this from this angle this starts to take precedence and the other thing that happens right here if you're gonna draw an overly defined person uh, you can have this come down like this and right into here and and don't have it touch especially from this angle it's already too close to that muscle it should be further away but I'll I'm just gonna go with it because I you know these videos get too long really quick if I try to totally refine everything but you can see that pull from reference and then keep in mind that the ankle is lower on the inside higher on the outside I'm pretty sure I'm not looking at a reference but they're not straight across so it's good to take note of that as well and then that could probably come out a bit more it almost looks a bit too feminine uh, because I've got the leg too thin right there so what I'd probably do here is bring it out and then taper it right there to give more musculature to that that muscle on this side but again I want this one lower that's the, that's the main thing to take note of right there is that that one's lower that this muscle or I don't know if it's a muscle or a tendon but it goes all the way through here and connects to the side obviously you never draw it that defined but it's good to know where it goes and this you're gonna get this information just from studying anatomy um, and I'm actually doing some uh, like total breakdowns where I draw all the muscles and in, in full detail and I'll be uploading those pretty soon so you can be on the lookout for that I'm thinking about just doing a anatomy playlist and at first it'll just be me drawing it I won't be describing the muscles but later on as I feel more confident with that I'll I'll get into the terminology and all that fun stuff so that's that's essentially it I mean you can take it further and further and really detail this out but that's pretty much the idea and then from the side you know you can do the same thing but then you know you want the leg to like taper back quite a bit like this so it's you know you've got this uh, larger part of the leg and a really easy thing to do and I think a lot of people might miss it is just remembering where to taper in extend out and then where to taper back in so like you know that the leg is a lot thicker to the top and then it you know although it stays pretty heavy it tapers inward towards the knee it gets thicker again right here tapers inward towards the ankle and I know it's pretty simplistic like of course it does that but uh, I don't know I think that's that's like one of the more important things to get right and then fill in the other details um, it's the same reason why I think uh, people that get good at painting uh, do it where they just do the shape first the silhouette first and that's kind of the same concept get the shape of the the tapers right and then fill in the uh, the detail of the uh, anatomy so I'll try it a couple different ways also remember to try uh, just anything different than you're doing so if you're if you're doing it one way and you're struggling and you've done it that way for a while change it up try a different brush try a different method uh, you really want to vary up your art style quite a bit because that's how I think a lot of times that's how you learn and that's how you get past these uh, mental barriers that you're facing when you're trying to draw you know we get so caught up in doing the same thing over and over again we think we're just gonna get better simply through repetition and, and you will in a sense but you also have to you know try new things and break out of the uh, the mental rut that you get in when you're when you're creating um, I know I face that quite a bit I'll, I'll get uh, I'll get stuck sometimes and that's when I'll, I'll try something different like drawing on really large paper with uh, just sharpies or something or um, you know drawing upside down or something crazy just just to really mix it up so yeah, so hopefully this has helped you and given you some insight into how you can better draw some legs and, and how to look at those and, and break them down. So again, remember that you just want to you know, perceive the muscles wrapping around. Like even here, I got it a little bit too straight. So I need to you know, look at a shot, uh, reference shot or whatever, 
and see how I could better uh, add curvature to that. But that they basically do swirl around a bit of the leg, that they don't just go straight up and down uh, like this one over here. So let me know what you think of the video. Uh, let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future, and that's what I'll make sure to bring to you guys. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Remember that you can support my work and follow me on both Patreon and Gumroad. It helps me continue to do the work that I do here, so I thank you for that. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.